let's get to it. And here's where I, I just want to start. And we talked about it a bit last week. Uh, are we into the tournament? Are we not? I was getting a little more excited as things got closer. And I have to say, Rob, I don't know most of these players from Adam. You know, I know a few, Kay Cunningham and, and, and some other guys. But the fact is, Rob, I was into it. I was into it. I had games all over the place, TVs on all over the place, watching the various games, turn into the upsets that were happening, you know, excited when I see up on the screen, I'm watching one game and I see that, you know, there's two minutes left in another game and it's a barn burner. So I got to go there. I mean, I was into the tournament, Rob, and it hit me like, man, look, they could be Division three players, for all I know. But it still is going to be exciting. It could have been Oberlin versus Ohio Wesleyan. And I still would have been into it. I don't care who the kids are. It's I'm into it, Rob. I was hyped. I got to I gotta be honest. March Madness is second to none. Only problem is, and I would I watched. Not like you. I'm still one of these guys. I've never watched the red zone in the NFL. Never. And how long has the red zone been out? Forever, right? Ever in a day. And the reason is I still like to watch games. And I'm not saying I'm going right. to sit there and watch a blowout. But I don't go flipping just to flip around. I, like, I want to watch a game in its entirety if I watch a game. So I did watch some games over the weekend. And there were a lot of upsets. But you know what, Chris? You just The statement you made is perfect for what I'm about to say. It ain't about college basketball. That is the biggest misnomer this time of the year. Everybody says, oh, college basketball is so exciting. Oh, it's way better than the pros. Oh, these kids, they're playing for nothing. It's just for the love of the game. Yes, and yes, all that. Yeah, yes. you know, like, it's great. <laughs> it has nothing to do with college basketball. Is this on? <laughs> it's about the tournaments format it could be anything chris you said it it could be division three how about division four i make up division four it could be anything whenever there's single game elimination and people can get knocked out on that night it heightens the pleasure of the game it's not like four out of seven okay they won this one it doesn't mean they're gonna win the series i gotta come back tomorrow night or the next or two nights and they got another game there's something about single game elimination. It ain't about college basketball. College basketball is as mundane and nameless as it's ever been. But this time of the year when we lather up and turn a game on and Oral Roberts again and they're winning Doing games, they won two games. Working Oral miracles. Roberts. <laughs> I got I got two people I know. You know you know both. I know of them. I, I I know both. You know right, both. Right. <laughs> you getting texts like Solomon me. Williams, <laughs> two brothers. Who is Lions, who is two Lions, brothers. Lions PR guy. Yep. Two brothers. And Galen they mean Gordon, African Americans. Yeah. Right. And Galen Gordon, who's a big time muckety muck at ABC News. And right? worked with us at ESPN. Yeah. Yes. Those two guys somehow, some way graduated from Oral Roberts, <laughs> okay? I don't know how. But when you see them win, you go, wow, this is unbelievable. It, it's, a, it's about the single-game elimination when you're able to knock people out and it's all over, Chris, and you play. And you play. I mean, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'll give you I, – I, I, I agree with you. The only thing I would say, and I don't know that you're even saying this, but – the fact that it's basketball still does play some role. You know, like it, basketball, just the nature of the game, it's exciting and all of that. So, I, I mean, you're not saying if it was, it could be freaking, you know, tiddlywinks, college I'm tiddlywinks. Saying it, could be, it could be a sport to any other sport, and it's a single game elimination it just heightens the experience. That's what I'm talking about. I, I agree not, with you that 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 the bottom line is it is the single elimination. It's done. Nature right. of it. it. It is. There's just no but, but immediacy. I'll give you a, one step is, is better. Crazy. 
what if we had it in the NBA? For the you got your 16 teams, right? More than half the league makes the playoffs, and it's a single game elimination. You would see, Chris, the best basketball we've ever seen if every night they go out there and this is it. And and don't Michael Jordan wouldn't have six championships. LeBron James wouldn't have gone to the finals in t- ten times, or right? He wouldn't have gone in finals ten. It's impossible. Somebody can beat you one night. I don't care how good you are. Chris, you could have a bad night. Somebody could have a great night. Somebody could make an unbelievable shot, right? Somebody could have a tip in. I mean, there's so many different things that could alter what it is, and that would make the NBA playoffs. Would you want that, though? That's my thing. Would you want that? Yes. Really? Four out of seven in the first round of the NBA is dog mess. you, You can, we can, I mean... I, I don't mind them playing seven, but I look, it used to be three. It used to be best two out of three. I know. And then I covered the NBA five, back then. I, right. I, I was there. Then it went to three I, out when of Michael five, Jordan so. made that shot against Cleveland, it was that, was three out three, of five. that was three out of five. That right. was game five in Cleveland. Magic and Kareem lost after winning it, Magic's, the whole thing, Magic's rookie year. They went out in the first round the next year in a two best of three series. Right. It used the to two be out of like three that. Houston. Yeah. And I think it was Houston. So, um, I i mean, we could debate over that. Here's my point, though. I would not want to see that. And you're right. The excitement would be crazy. But it would totally, I mean, what is the point of playing an 82-game season? 82, not 35 or 30 like they play in college. 82 games comes down to one game? Like, that would... Uh, it just seems like, I mean, you hear the complaints, Rob, in baseball with the wild card game or, you know, the 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 one the one and done game in baseball. You know, the wild card it, game is exciting, but, right, but it, it's but exciting. You but you know what I'm saying? It, right. But that's not at least that's not the championship. I I you're right that it would be madness. I mean, people would be into it. But I think the goal of the NBA is to find the best team. Who's the best team? And you're not going to get it in a one a one game one and done scenario. You don't get it in basketball. Who you said it. Oral Roberts beat they beat Ohio State, correct? And yep. then they beat Florida. Ohio State would probably beat them 8 out of 10 times, if I not agree. at least 7 out of 10 times. So you don't and I get it. It's fine for college. It's fine for a 30-game season. I would not want to see that in the NBA, as exciting as it would be. But I'm into the NBA playoffs as they are. As long as they are, I think it's a whole separate season. Can you imagine? It would, But it would change. You know, we talk about it all the time, Chris. Uh, in the 80s, it was just the Lakers and the Celtics. That's all it was. You wouldn't have no Lakers and Celtics. Utah might have a couple of championships if it was the best out of – uh, if it was single game elimination, you might have uh, the, the the wealth of championships spread around and make it equal and go into super teams wouldn't matter and players might stay. It could enhance the game well, and spread the we- spread the wealth because all the great teams even put together can lose one night. And I think that's the part you that I really You can certainly lose like. any given night. I remember we all remember the 72 and 10 Bulls. I covered, and I was covering the Cleveland Cavaliers as a beat writer that year, and they came to town, the Jordan and Pippen and, and the Bulls winning in the midst of winning 72 games, and the Cavs of Terrell, Brandon, Bobby Fields, and Chris Mills beat them. So you're right, any given night, anything could happen. However, let's think about it, Rob. You said super teams wouldn't matter. They would, because remember what John Wooden did. He had super teams. And he was able to win, what, 10 championships? So if you have overwhelming talent, you still would win a lot. I but think you have a chance to get beat You, more you have often. more of a chance to get beat. There's All you no, got to do is have no your, your star could have a bad night. What did Cunningham? He had a bad night for them, right? They right. lost. Well, bad you could, two, two nights. <laughs> right, but that night, was what was he, 6 for 20 from the field? He looked more like a Richie Cunningham in the NCAA <laughs> tournament. 
Nothing, Alex. Good Richie one. Cunningham. That was, good that was a good Nothing. one. Everything. That was funny. one of Rob's best. Oh, man, that Richie would be Cunningham. on his top five list. Really? I wow. would say top ten. I don't know that there's a top ten oh, list. Oh wow! But top well, five. Was... <laughs> I don't know, CB. I just got back. I got to start him humble. Right. <laughs> but no, nah, I hear you, Rob. But I, I'm shocked that you would rather see the NBA in that format because it we no longer now. Look, here's the thing. And remember, the NBA played with this idea. Adam Silver tossed it out. Oh, we might have this midseason tournament. Not that, yeah, yeah. Now, I I believe tradition's important, Rob. And to your point, if we all grew up and the NBA was a one-and-done situation and it was what we knew, I think we'd be into it and we'd be used to it and it'd be what it was. What if they said, we're going to cut was- the season down to 62 games, Chris, right? 62 games, uh, a tournament like this. I don't know if it's 16 or whatever, but it was about like a it. mid-season one and done tournament. No, I want this to be for the for the oh the for ball the and, well, and, and maybe, I, I, maybe I kind of think 62 is still too much for a one and done. I don't know. But, but, I mean, that's just my personal. But, feeling, but it would but, be like this. Maybe you do this. This is just to get you through the first three rounds, and then the championship is four out of seven or three out of five. Where. Like you still would have yeah, but to be you, able to win. What if you get a championship with the freaking Miami Heat and you know the Dallas? But well, they're Mavericks playing well. You, you don't want to. They're mean, playing well. Give them credit. Here's what I'd say, Rob. This goes to the NBA's idea of a midseason tournament. Over time, like when they first proposed the idea, oh, we're gonna have this midseason tournament, Euro Cup style, and you know, one and done, and all. It sounded like, well, who cares? Who's who's gonna care that you won a midseason tournament? But over time, that could become significant. Now, because we're not used to it, we might poo-poo it. But 10 years from now, 20 years from now, people would be like, well, yeah, LeBron has four rings and three, you know, mid-season championships too. Jordan had six rings and five mid-season cups no, or whatever. I'm you know, like it, it, I think it would gain over time – it could become legitimate, and maybe that would be a one-and-done situation. Yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't want to see it. I would not want to see it without the, like, series. If you want to cut the first round to five games, that's all right. But I wouldn't want to see That's why they went to seven, Rob, because two out of three was too easy to get upset. Four out of seven is too many. How many four-game sweeps where eight, eights are playing ones? And then they're yeah, not, but there's they some be you've seen good games. You know, no, remember, there have been eight been, seeds that have won. A, a few, but most of yeah. them are bad series. That's all. Would you want to see a March Madness one and done style tournament in the National Basketball Association? I know most people push back, look at me as being too, too radical, too prisoner of the moment, Rob. Whatever. I'm telling you, this it's would true. be awesome. <laughs> Rob Matt, Parker, mid season. Right. I'm fine with it. Mid season. Matt in Maryland, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Matt? How you guys doing? Uh, What's... No way, no how do I <laughs> want to see that in the NBA, the NBA at all. You must right, because isn't show it before, about huh, finding out who the best team is, right, Matt? It is, and it just takes away from the attrition. I mean, you're talking home field advantage plays a part. You're talking coaching adjustments. A seven-game series is just, it's a thing to watch when two really good teams adjust after each game. And to but see Matt, all those adjustments would be. Absolutely. Matt, let me say this to you. Chris already brought it up. That the, the good schools, the Dukes, the North Carolinas, the Kentuckys, they win. Don't act like well, they don't win. The I'm super, just saying. They, I said super team, right? No, but I'm saying good teams A normally Durant, win. The Kyrie best talent usually wins out. What are you afraid of? It ain't like Duke hasn't won a championship and you go, oh, this is unfair. Duke has this great team every year and they get knocked out by some lesser talented team. It doesn't happen. But, Rob, they might win three. three how many Krzyzewski got? How many championships? Five. Rob, did he win five? No, he's not. He don't have five. Nobody said wouldn't. We, we celebrate dudes for having three. Three I in thought, 30 I years. Krzyzewski or so. Krzyzewski Does he have – okay, now. he's got five. All right, five, he's got five. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say But still, five. that's five in how many years? It ain't it ain't like a Bayheim you know, who has won in forty five years thanks to Carmelo. But in Anthony. general, though, you know, uh, remember that Kentucky team that was undefeated that no, lost. I, I mean, so I I'm with the caller. But all right, here we go, Mark in Sacramento. You're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Mark? 
What's going on, gentlemen? Rob Parker, you done lost your damn mind. <laughs> I Thank knew it. Nobody, no, let me give you this. Give you a quick example. Would you want to see the Yankees and the Dodgers playing the World Series instead of game uh, seven games, play one right. game to win it good, all? Good I'm just asking. Point, Mark. I'm just asking. No. Would you want to see that, Rob? <laughs> You know that would be he hard for me to you. say there. He got I, right. I, I, just, I just wanted to put it in the public perspective, number one. And number two, these nah, are the greatest good. athletes in the world. We want to see them play a full seven games. I want the season cut. We won't have to see 82 games. But I want to see them go through the, the, the seven games of coaches having to make adjustments, guys having to play, you know, every couple of uh, couple right. of games. Uh, just You can see the, the momentum swings. That's what you want to see. That well, let me ask you this, Mark. I, I, you, all your points are excellent. You and Chris both. I'm not even going to sit here and act like they aren't. But can you imagine the heightened sense if if you could lose just for a bad night or you don't hustle or don't play well for one night? What would that be like, the intensity of – of all the marbles night after night after night trying to win. It'd be a nice midseason tournament, like I said, which we wouldn't care about for the first several years. But over time, it'd be like, oh, Luca's got hey. two rings and 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 three midseason bowls. You know, I mean, whatever they call it. Like, yeah, please it would don't become call a ring. big deal. Hey, let's, let's you know, this Marty is a one in. night stand versus marriage, Rob Parker. That's what I this is. I love one night stands. That's, that's right. what this is. It's a one night stand versus a long-term, grow old, sit in front of your house on the porch and drink lemonade at 75. I'll pass. Marriage. That's All what right. this is. <laughs> Marty in Kentucky, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Marty, you into marriage or a, or, or a one-nighter? <laughs> well, Chris Broussard did not have to bring up the 38-1 Kentucky team. I mean, my feelings are hurt. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we had two shot clock violations. And two timeouts in Cal's pocket, and I just don't want to talk about that. But yes, that was that I was here. Terrible. I know you don't. I know the you NBA, don't. the NBA is a players' league. If you go to single elimination, it becomes a coaches' league. I wouldn't want to go to single Good elimination, point. but I, I would love to see the first round go back to five games. It was five games for twenty or for eight or yeah, twenty years. Um, and there was only two teams. I remember when Denver did it, Matumbo was waving the finger yep. the first time. I it remember that. times in 20 years, and since then, it, in only 18 years of it being a 17 series, it's happened three times. If you're a number one, you should take care of an eight and five game right. and get to rest. You're just adding games that players could get hurt. It was money. Play. Right. Yeah, and, and it was money. But the flip money. side, though, Chris, is that often – those games don't get played because a lot of them are four game sweeps right. or four to one. True. So you don't even get those games. Like they thought they could get a seven game series and more money, but in reality, I don't know right. what the first round is. Most of them don't go seven round, seven games. Right, right.